Bell and his son Dylan after a second stag. We were in here yesterday and saw a really nice stag, um, but we saw several others and we didn't want to rush into it because because of the cyclone I haven't been able to get over here and do any scouting like I normally would. So we just watched last night <clears throat> and he's decided that he really likes the stag down here because he wants to do a life size. So not only has he got nice antlers but he's got a stunning cape and full body skin. So we've come back today in the hope that we will find him. Here's the photos that I got of him yesterday. So as you can see, he's a bloody nice dag. Now it's the waiting game. Wait and see if he wants to show himself again. Because life's just got a whole lot more serious. We did see a bigger stag further down the valley. Bigger antlers. But his um, skin, his hide is nowhere near as pretty. So Al has opted for the prettier one. So. Sit down. Exit. Sit. I don't think he's getting up, no. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> the story behind why Al is not here is because it's one hell of a steep gully to come down and Al is kind of a bionic man needing more bionics. His knee is buggered, completely buggered. So he sent the two boys over to retrieve it for him. You're a good son, Dylan. <laughs> We're doing a life size on this guy. Pretty cool. Beautiful stag, eh? <clears throat> as far as, um, you know, capes go, skin goes, you couldn't get a nicer one. And he's got pretty damn nice antlers, just quietly. He's a bloody nice stag. Got my work cut out for me. Here we go. We got us a nice stag down here. Shoe's getting ready for the shot. <laughs> Bit of cat and mouse going on. <laughs> Only a matter of time.
Karim. We're slowly working towards an eight pointer. <laughs> Last year we got a we got a ten. This year we got a nine. Good day. Well done, mate. We've seen this from five k away, and uh, it's taken us probably an hour to walk. And uh, shot it at uh, 238 meters, 300 wisdom, 150, 150 grain. Yep. Yep. They dropped like a sack of spuds. No yep. one hit him. No. Beauty. Another great afternoon. Yep. Looking forward to a pinot. He's gonna get up. up. A red stag in our seeker block. Unacceptable. <laughs> He's gonna have to go. When he stands up, we'll try and let him knock him over. There he is there. That's better there. I think the first shot I pulled just a little fraction back. He's walking too. Alright! <laughs> He's down! <laughs> well down. He's well down. I think the first shot was just a fraction back. Yeah. And I was he, worried he was gonna go. He was, he was, he was. Scrub, if you didn't yeah. shoot, he would have been in that scrub. Yeah. For sure. And we've been playing cat and mouse with him now for two oh, days, two days <laughs> anyway, three maybe. Yeah. yeah. And get him in the right spot. Yeah, no, you got him. You got him well. Well, I don't know what they did. Yeah. Places, a lot of guys would probably be pretty happy to shoot something like that roaring but he's in our seeker block and that is an absolute no-no look at the spread on that guy <laughs> <laughs> shocking so he has gone to the happy land where he can hang out with red stags sorry old boy well, that last shot was good yeah right there. yeah That'll make the Seeker Stags happy. They'll get the run of the place again now because he was he was chasing the Seeker Stags around and I guess, look at the size of them. Mm. Understandable. Oh, we'll process them and get out of here. Leave it to the Seeker Stags. All right, I've just spotted another hybrid in the Seeker hunting country. Don't want those hybrids doing anything like breeding any of my seeker hinds so I am going to lay down about 20 feet behind me here in a great shooting position and line up for about a 300 somewhere around a 300 yard shot grazing over there unawares kind of drizzling it's a bit windy so I left the um, aim into the wind just a fraction but uh, I'm going to get onto that right now Red Seeker hybrid right there. He was roaring like a red. But then a couple of times I heard him, he sort of sounded like he was trying to roar like a Seeker, but it was still too ready. And you can see he's got a real orange bum. Very red coat, like a red stag. 
skull's a bit shorter than a normal red stag, but scuttly anyway, only six point. Needed to be taken out of the uh, seeker breeding equation, which we have just done. And the dogs are pretty happy about that. They'll get a nice warm liver for dinner.